You may have heard the term triglycerides often in your life, but ever wondered what exactly are triglycerides? Let's find out. What are triglycerides? Triglycerides are the most common type of fat in the human body. They're made up of three fatty acids attached to a glycerol molecule. The fats that we eat and that we naturally produce can go one of two ways. They can be oxidized or they can be converted into triglycerides and stored as fat for future use. These fatty types of lipids found in your blood can be burned away as you lose weight. However, they can also be bad for your health. Before diving into simple ways to lower your triglycerides naturally, you may be wondering what triglycerides do in our body. Keep watching to find out. How do triglycerides work in our bodies? Triglycerides are the main form in which lipids, which are fats and oils, are stored in the body. They belong to a group of substances called lipoproteins. Lipids are also found throughout the body, not just stored in the body's fat cells. They serve several purposes, such as providing energy and maintaining cell structure. Lipids act as transporters, which store fats in the body. When food becomes readily available, fat is stored in fat cells in the form of triglycerides. After periods of fasting, triglyceride is released by the cells to provide energy. The triglycerides that we consume can be used for energy, but our bodies store them as well for future use. The storage of triglycerides is typically seen as a backup energy source, because the fatty acids inside them can later be broken down to provide needed fuel when carbohydrate intake is inadequate, or there is some sort of question about how long it will take to fulfill your next meal or snack need. Now that we know the role of triglycerides, where do they come from into our body? Let's find out. What are the sources of triglycerides? Our triglycerides come from two sources, namely the food we eat and the ones our body manufactures. Triglycerides are synthesized when we eat a high carbohydrate meal. Other than the excess carbs turned to triglycerides in these situations, they come from fat cells and our liver in times where food is plentiful. Triglycerides created in the liver are transported to fat cells in the bloodstream by very low density lipoproteins. Most of the fat we eat consists of triglycerides which come from animals and plants. Our intestines are unable to break down triglycerides which are large molecules. As such, during the digestive process, these large molecules get broken down into glycerol and fatty acids. These molecules then get absorbed by our body after digestion has taken place. Triglycerides are reassembled and released in collomicrons after they enter intestinal cells. The released triglycerides and cholesterol enter our bloodstream and some of it is stored in the body's fat cells. The body breaks down the triglycerides from circulating collomicrons before they are then used for energy or stored as fat. This is most common after eating a meal where collomicron density increases in the bloodstream for several hours. This is why when healthcare providers perform a health exam, they ask you to fast for 12 hours before having your blood drawn. This is to avoid any interference with the results of a cholesterol test. An assessment for cardiovascular disease risk is based on your baseline blood lipid levels, which are taken at a time when there are no increases in triglycerides or cholesterol counts due to chylomicrons. Higher non-fasting triglyceride levels have also been connected to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. They help to regulate energy release and storage. Triglycerides are found in many foods like butter, cheese, and whole milk. They also occur naturally in the liver and muscles of animals. What happens when there are too many triglycerides in the body? Too many triglycerides in the blood may lead to hypertriglyceridemia. Hypertriglyceridemia is a condition in which the body has an abnormally high level of triglycerides. Hypertriglyceridemia is a condition where the body has too many triglycerides. Since triglycerides are a type of fat found in blood and fatty tissues all over the body, they have many important functions, including providing energy for cells and maintaining healthy skin and hair. However, high levels of triglycerides can be harmful to health. That's because they may raise a person's blood cholesterol or LDL cholesterol and lower their good cholesterol or HDL cholesterol. High triglyceride levels have been linked with an increased risk for heart disease. How to lower triglycerides naturally. Now that we know what triglycerides are and their functions in the body, what can we do when triglycerides levels are too high? Number one, cut out sugar from your diet. Sugar raises triglyceride levels by increasing the production of fatty acids from glucose. 
If someone consumes more sugar than they can use as energy or store as glycogen in the liver and muscles, their pancreas releases more insulin which converts excess glucose into fat. This fat accumulates in cells throughout the body, including those of the liver, where it is stored as triglycerides. The more sugar that is consumed regularly, the higher triglyceride levels will be. Excess sugar consumption is a major risk factor for hypertriglyceridemia, which can lead to coronary heart disease, diabetes mellitus, and other conditions. Number two, avoid alcohol. Alcohol consumption increases triglyceride levels through various pathways. One of these pathways is the direct effect on lipoprotein lipase, which breaks down triglycerides to release free fatty acid. Alcohol consumption also upregulates an enzyme known as alcohol dehydrogenase, ADH. ADH metabolizes alcohol to produce something called acetaldehyde, which is the first metabolite in the liver's toxic alcohol breakdown pathway. Basically, Acetaldehyde further upregulates lipoprotein lipase, LPL, and creates a vicious cycle where more triglycerides are broken down into free fatty acids. In short, alcohol causes the liver to produce more triglycerides. This can lead to high levels of triglycerides in the bloodstream. Number three, include fiber-rich food in your diet. Fiber helps in lowering triglycerides by binding to bile acids and removing them from the body before they can be absorbed. This way, the liver converts them into cholesterol and sends them back to the small intestine for elimination via poop. Fiber is found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It's also found in other plant sources, such as nuts, seeds, cereals, and legumes. Consuming more fiber can help with lowering triglycerides by slowing the absorption of fat and sugar in your small intestine. A study that consisted of around 120 adults found that for people who had High triglyceride levels, consuming more dietary fiber was linked to lower levels of triglycerides. Another study conducted with adolescents has shown that following a high fat breakfast with a high fiber cereal can help control triglyceride levels throughout the day. Number four, implement a low carb diet. Triglycerides are an indicator of heart disease risk. High triglyceride levels are linked with a high chance of developing coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes. Low-carb diets, as a diet that keeps the intake of grains, fruits, and starchy vegetables at its minimum, have traditionally been used as a way to lower triglyceride levels by reducing insulin resistance. Studies show that low-carb diets help lower triglyceride levels, but it is most effective when combined with exercise and weight loss. It has been well documented that a low-carbohydrate diet can decrease triglyceride levels. This is because carbohydrates cause the liver to release more triglycerides into the bloodstream, and carbohydrates also raise blood sugar levels. A 2020 study analyzed a low-fat and a low-carb diet. Researchers found that 6 to 12 months after starting their respective diets, those on the low-carb diet had greater decreases in triglyceride levels than those on the low-fat diet. Another recent study on 12 randomized controlled trials found that those who followed a reduced carb diet had the lowest levels of triglycerides. This was most noticeable after six months. Number five, exercise. Exercise is a must do for people who have high triglyceride levels. It has been indicated that regular workouts can lower blood triglyceride levels by up to 30%. High cholesterol refers to the presence of too many lipoproteins in the blood. Triglyceride is a type of fat found in both the blood and the stored body fat, or adipose tissue. Exercise lowers triglycerides by reducing stored fats, which are converted into energy during exercise. The American Heart Association recommends getting a minimum of 30 minutes of aerobic activity five days a week. Activities that include running, walking, swimming, or bicycling. The benefits of exercise are well documented. For one, it has been shown to lower triglycerides, which are especially true if the exercise is long-term. A study conducted by Clinical Cardiology found that working out for 45 minutes five days a week significantly cut down on triglycerides among people who had heart disease. In conclusion, different factors such as your diet and lifestyle can affect your triglyceride levels. Some strategies people can use to lower their blood triglycerides are opting for healthy fats instead of trans fats, cutting down starchy carbs and added sugars, and exercising regularly. 
With some simple adjustments to your lifestyle, you can decrease triglycerides, lose weight, lower your cholesterol, and lead a healthier life. Try experimenting with a few of the tips provided in this video and gradually incorporate more techniques after developing an understanding of how your body reacts to the changes. We believe this will offer you long-term, sustainable habit changes that are easier on your lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more videos like this, and we'll see you next time.